you ever think there's been a massive historical conspiracy like this where ostensibly we're like oh no peasants please don't cut us to judaism ah we're producing slaves in that province which is a horrifying thing because everyone like every province has like kids and stuff all right lads welcome to ethiopia in a region that i don't usually play because today we're going to be converting to judaism and trying to form Israel, which is a nation that I don't think I've actually ever formed. First things first, we've got to make sure that this nation doesn't actually break free. Uh, we do start with a very good uh, king of a 655. Um, I'm also going to get rid of our heir because he's not a 655. Make sure that Semyon does not be independent. I haven't actually set up anything. I should probably, instead of on pausing, should probably set that up. Uh, clergy, not going to be around much longer, but it's, this is nice, huh? Uh, grab strong duchies, why not? And also neighbor raid, which gives us uh, 0.1 years worth of manpower for occupying a hostile fort. So I will take that. Just any extra manpower is always a good thing. A uh, key thing around here is that there are three gold mines. Uh, the one down here is the one we need to be going after immediately. Let's fabricate a claim on you. Improve relations with you. I'm tempted just to nick it off him. I don't think I could seize his capital there. Grabbing discipline for our blessing of faith. Otherwise, we're going to want to try to build up a power base and get ready to challenge the Mamluks. So as soon as possible. I'm not I'm not trying to do this as like a, a speed run or anything, but I also don't want to be dallying. Immediately a good event. That means it's going to be a good video. Probably. Ah, yes. Decentralized state. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I played Ethiopia. I've got to remind myself of the uh, the mission tree. It gives us claims. King Semyon. Access this capital. It's improved it five times. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Just start a cathedral there. We'll take like that and it gives us uh, some cause. Or Mehdi Bahri. Of course, there's cow infantry. What do they do again? Well, they cost mill power to recruit, so. I think, do they? Let me let me recruit some. Do you have any sort of special shock damage received? Land attrition, nice. Okay, so they are they are worth taking. Okay. All right. We can do Gideon's Revolt. The Kingdom Semyon. Uh, we either basically stop them being Jewish, which is not what we want, or we do accepted society, which is what we want. We want to try and get them to trigger Jewish zealots. Brilliant. <laughs> It's a good start. <laughs> uh, okay, in the meantime, let us go after you for reconquest. There is no reason why we wouldn't. Elodia as well. Co-belligerent them. And let's get this one done early. Like I said, I want to build as fast as possible. Because I want to catch the Mamluks in an inopportune moment for them whilst they're fighting the Ottomans, if I can. And with the 655 for a couple of years, we should have a decent shot at that. I do have a core over here. What else could we do with the mission tree? Secure religious unity. Hmm. I wonder what happens if we switch faith. This is, this is like sort of like, I'm, I'm sure I've done a Jewish Ethiopia run because that was the whole point uh, back in the day of playing as Ethiopia when Origins happened. But I can't quite remember because it's been so long. Religion is Coptic and I do it five times and something happens or something. <laughs> and then you conquer Axum. Okay, so this looks pretty easy. Improve relations to my subjects 150 and then we get claims. It's nice, unifying tribes, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's all pretty simple stuff. There's nothing here that's really that tricky. So let's go ahead and take all of Elodia. Once I get the claim over here in Janjiro. So I'll pull this planet worker here to the next gold mine. Where are the other gold? I swear there's three around here. Is there only two? Yeah, it appears there's only two. I'm sure that's probably one, maybe one appears. I'm convinced that there's, there's more than that. All right, there's the piece. Okay, I don't want to finish these guys off just to make sure that there are no separatists to kill my Jewish zealots. All right, let's murder you lot. And that's a good little start, isn't it? Wonderful. I unlocked something. Access the Red Sea. Let's get a shipyard. Okay. Right. Next up, I do want to go after Janjiro, but I kind of want to convert to Judaism first. Okay, let's convert to Judaism first. So let's send our boys to go and be passive. Because I need them to be, you know, away from my guys. Right. And let us provoke Jewish zealots. The key part here is I do need to make sure I'm killing the other rebels so they don't interfere with my grand designs. Come on. This could get dicey. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Okay, would you give me access? No? Okay. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. That could have been bad. All right, we need to keep some troops all over the place so then we can constantly make sure that we're not over the threshold because if we get to the point where it's like more than 50%, it'll automatically do it. Um, and we want them to convert as much of our lands as possible so we don't have to. Where's he going? Where's he going? Come on, boys, back up. Okay, you could be a bit bold here. Okay, you are going over there to Dembea, okay? He'll probably come back and try and fight this army, I think. Which way do I go? They're retreating to Soba. Where is he going? Tana. 
Okay, get out of that, get out of that, get out of there. Right, I need to start coming this way a bit. Yeah, he's just gonna follow those lands. That's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure these are our heartlands. Go on, decide on something. Okay, you're going to Simeon. Presumably you're going to my capital now. Please go up north though. Go to Axum. Go to Axum. Yes! Go on, keep going north. Keep going north. Keep going north. In the meantime, I should be improving relations with you lot. Go on. If he starts moving, then we can ourselves begin to spread out. Come on. Yeah, he's taking a capital now, which means he'll be there a little while, so we can spread out. Don't go through him, please. Do you ever think there's been a massive historical conspiracy like this, where ostensibly we're like, oh no, peasants, please, don't cut avert us to Judaism. And in reality, this is exactly what we wanted to see. Surely there's been at least one, right? Okay, Axum is the one that we can develop most easily. So I'm tempted to try and get Renaissance here. 56, 54, actually it's probably our capital. It's this nice subject of Ethiopia. And we can grab ourselves diplomatic annexation cost. Also gives us loads of claims. If you haven't played it before, Ethiopia is a ridiculously broken nation. Like, if you're not going as, um, as Jewish, then, like, you could probably have conquered most of the Horn of Africa by this point. All right, in the interest of time, let's go ahead and take Janjiro. Just because they don't have any sort of friends. Plus, we need some cash. Right, and they've taken our capital, but we're at war, so they shouldn't be able to break us. It's something like that, isn't it? So they can still run around and occupy stuff. We've done rather well here. Uh, do we take tech? Uh, we'll definitely take mill tech before Renaissance spawns. Okay, Renaissance has spawned. And then we'll save up our power to develop Renaissance, I think. When you've got a 655, that's usually the play. So we're going to come out of this with more of this unity than we left. So we're loading separatists again. All right, we are going to start to suffer. That's fine. <laughs> Casper will last. 152 years. Sure, we'll send a strongly worded letter. I really care about the diplomatic insult. Oh, he's apologized. Oh, big wins for the boys. Yeah, they're gonna. They're probably gonna start to do us in now. Probably stave it off like a day or two. Maybe we can get him to do one more. Okay, so we're now Jewish, um, and the vast majority of our provinces are also Jewish, which is good. Uh, let's take you off of. Being passive and get you to go and declare war on Kaffa. We need the gold mine. Uh, and let's prep for war against the Dal. Also, if we don't mind, let's get the development cost and let us focus on grabbing. Ooh, what's this? Itinerant capital area. It's going to be expensive, but I think getting Renaissance is going to be quite useful because we're not going to get it for another 50 years. Can we encourage conversion to Judaism? That sounds good. Uh, for, the, for context, we have this stuff called faith power, right? Uh, and you, you can get some festivals, and honestly, it's not a great thing. <laughs> Can't even convert any provinces. <laughs> oh, we can, I think. I just need to actually pay my missionaries. A bit weird they don't do it for free. Okay, I really thought you could have handled Kaffa on your own, but apparently not. How much are we in debt? A uh, decent chunk. Go and siege stuff for me. That's that's your entire life's purpose. Right, let's get Spina up going. Aiden and Beja. Beja will get taken out pretty easy. Yeah, all this stuff will go the second I get a gold mine. Uh, let's go ahead and collect from here as well. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get a little bit. Excellent. Take you two. Let's call that. And let us hopefully finish off the Renaissance. Pretty soon. One or two more picks should do it. In the meantime, uh, I think attacking a Dow before they get out of control is a good idea. Do we only have one core? I thought we had two. No, that's just one province. Okay. Uh, reconquest. Let's go. We are in debt, but gold mines. Should be able to stack away from here. And then split up and dominate his lands, which should encourage him to see the error of his ways when it comes to engaging in this war. And there we go, Renaissance. So let's switch edicts to institution spread. And also over here. I don't want to take you just yet. I probably should have. Can I? Yeah, it costs double, but I mean, whatever. Let's scare off this fort. Or not, don't need to. Well, he's still scared of four. Don't win on 14%. Don't do, Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nice. Okay. Attack him. Let's not give him the chance to actually win that siege. I'd be very upset. And death. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you not have Miltek 4? You don't. Oh, it's a sad day. Oh, it's a very sad day for you. All right. Unify the tribes. Okay. We get Suakin. We get something as an accepted culture. Nubian. Okay. Lovely. And we get something. Okay. Yeah. We just get this province. Nice. <laughs> so useful. Now, what does it mean over here? Yeah, it has to be Jewish. I think they fixed that because initially it was, it was, you had to, it still had to be Coptic despite the fact that you were Jewish. 
It was a very strange one. Ah, we're producing slaves in that province. Which is a horrifying thing, because everyone, like, every province has, like, kids and stuff. But that is, we're breeding people. Oh, God, that's horrifying. Oh, nice, we took his capital. Push on over here. Take the war goal. Check some dudes here, and then stand over here. So then Aiden can't come in. We also don't have anything. Ooh, is there, there's a thing here? That's a shame. <laughs> we're not going to get the advantage of that. All right, we've got our gold mine over here, which we're going to develop. It's actually a really good province. 12 development. Bear in mind, like, the capital of Tunisia. Tunis is about 14 development. Uh, Navally, what are we looking at here? we got no galleys. Do I even care about attacking him? I don't think I do. Uh, 2 2 one. Got to get rid of that. Can't believe I didn't see that previously. Oh, something over here about... Ooh, it has to be Jewish and improved five times. And then we get... Oh, we're meant to be... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Owning this stuff. Uh, okay. Well, I could do it all in one war. Ah, it's a, uh, the, uh, the mammoths would join a coalition. I'd have been fine if I hadn't done that stupid move. Go on then, come across. Go on, do it. Go on. It'll be fun. It'll be, fun. It'll be, it'll be so fun. Oh my god. Imagine the scenes when you when you cross and you don't die and then you win and you should try it. Okay, so we use the mountain. We gain a stability. And so the end of the game, we get chance to be a plus 20. Well, 1, 3, 2. Nah, I'm going to get I'm gonna get the mountain to be used for other purposes. I don't know what that does. Oh, go on, win that. Win that. You sick puppies. <gasps> they came across. Friends! Compatriots! You're trapped! Death! Ooh! I could... Aspect of faith. Technology cost, national unrest, interest brand. Let's do that. Uh, infantry cost, four defense, morale of armies is okay. Uh, and then here, we've got tolerance of heathens, tolerance of true faith. Tolerance of true faith, I don't think it can get higher than this. It's not like we're gonna conquer any new Jewish territories. You literally found the only Jewish territories in the game. It's damn near... I'm pretty sure, as far as I'm aware, it's impossible to play Jewish without starting Ethiopia. It's a bold claim that I have no idea if it's true or not, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. For the simple reason that that event that you saw at the start of the game, yeah. I don't think that uh, Ethiopia picks any option but to convert the Jews. And so this is the only way. Obviously you can release uh, whatever they're called. S the beta uh, semi or something like that. Private on Mamluks. Just a province called Berber that's nowhere near any of the Berber territories. Very upsetting. Uh, yeah, I'll take 2,000 manpower, thank you. And let's start to integrate you lot. I wonder how many times you can flip religion in one game. You really wanted to. That's not, that's not a suggestion for me to do that as an, as an idea. I'm not doing that. I refuse. I was thinking about that. Religion Kappa is Jewish. Yes, please. Oh, we know who the Timurids are. They're not likely to ally me. Okay. Lots of rebels. Why is that? What's wrong with our nation? War exhaustion is fine. Centralization reform is fine. It's religious unity, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Random little event. Gives us some bonuses. Happy with that? I do need to rest up. It's sad, but I have no idea what this guy did to uh, to deserve his 655 ranking. Clearly, was a bit of a don. I've got to figure out what he did. Should I Google him? I'm going to Google him right now. Zara Yaakov Salomon. The mother of the emperor died from mistreatment. What the hell is this? When the, the abbot criticizes beatings and murder of men, the emperor had the abbot himself beaten and imprisoned. What did he do? Okay, he founded some literature. Hanley both internal Christian affairs and external Muslim aggression along with the founding of uh, Debre Bihan as his capital. But apparently just beat the hell out of people. Okay, man. Okay. All right, how are we doing Renaissance wise? Yeah, we could probably accept it pretty soon. We just need money, we don't have any of that. I'm gonna grab ourselves with integration because we're already on 100% influence level, but that is going to go down to probably 90 or so once we get rid of these two vassals that we have. Do we still have the bonus to integrating them? We do for the next 20 years. Okay, no, we should be fine. 222. I'm looking for something better than a 222, lads. Right. So we need to now do Kaffa, I believe. Remember the days that you like could just hand off a single province to, to the clergy and get them to convert it? Because they give you, like, plus two if they're loyal. Where are the separatists going to rise up? Sahra and Nubia. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it in, like, an Arab way. I don't know what, I'll, what I like how to pronounce it Ethiop in an Ethiopian man. I don't know what an Ethiopian accent sounds like, to be honest. Our rule is not the Messiah. Ooh, I don't know about that. feel like we are, so we've got an acclaim on Al-Quds. We're going home, boys. All right, we'll do another faith aspect. Image course, fort defense. 
uh, or development costs. Well, obviously, we're going to have to go for, like, morale. So what does this do? The celebration thing. We need to have at least 200 faith power, and we can gain a stability. So I've got a 4-4-3 in charge for the next sort of decade or so. Okay, I can, I can live with that. It's the 2-2-2, two, 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 really not good. I'm starting to do uh, Yold. Oh no, the game quit, but... I don't know, I feel like he has to die at some point. Well, Gohan's taken out. What's wrong? Why can't I just get the full amount from this? I, I swear, you should be generating so much more gold than this. Oh, it's because you're Coptic. I should not have increased your... <laughs> should not have increased it. Okay, let's take out okay, let's take out some burger loans. Uh, and let's grab ourselves Renaissance, because this is taking ages. Yeah. Because then I can embrace this. I also need to go ahead and... I need a missionary strength advisor. We'll become a great power, wonderful. I need a missionary strength advisor. Okay, they're so far off. This. Annex you. Annex you. We just gotta hope the Ottomans don't take the one province that we need, or the few problems that we need. How much are we in debt? What the hell is wrong with this, like... Okay. Let's go and murder all of the rebels that are potentially gonna rise up. And then we'll sit down for a little bit and rest. Because we keep on just taking out... Why is... It... What's so expensive? What's going on? Fort maintenance, army maintenance, interest... What? I mean, you'd assume that as Ethiopia would be very affluent. I've never been in so much debt in my life. Apart from, you know, in real life. Do not even pay on our troops. Okay, we just got rid of some of these forts. Uh, useless fort. Uh, useful, useful, but like, realistically, can't afford them. Well, I'll shut them down for now. We're just turning a profit. Alright, we've annexed one section. Okay, we've annexed them, and that gives us permanent claims on Kaffa and Hadia, which I'm pretty sure basically already had anyway. Conquering in the south would give us missionary strength, which sounds pretty good to me, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe we should just go ahead and conquer them and embrace the debt. Yeah, we'll screw it. We're embracing the debt. All right. We're over force limit, so I'm going to get rid of all of our cavalry. We're not we're not a cavalry-based nation. We can't afford horses. They're not even in the coalition against us. Kind of sad. All right. If you're a mountain province, you are. I'm going to get rid of this one. And now you're highlands. Oh, well. But you're also gold, and you'd assume you'd make me a profit. If this, why, why doesn't it make me this? It makes me such little money. Because you're minus thirty-three percent. Okay, but still, you'd assume I'd make so much more than this. What's this? Not just power. No, oh, for God's sake. Okay, missionaries, fort maintenance. I'm really trying to look at ways that we could actually not debt spiral here. Our maintenance. Port maintenance, interest is costing a little bit. State maintenance. Uh, okay, let's go over here. No edict. And no edict. That should help a little bit. Please give base tax. Man, being Jewish is hard. Who knew? Alright, let's annex you. Give me money. Give me your province. Over here, same thing. Give me money. The provinces. And that should give us. We could like conquer the south. So we get missionary strength as well as development costs for 25 years. That is super useful. That should help a lot with this. Okay, brilliant. Which then should give us a cheaper advisor. <laughs> we might legit get the peasants war here. I don't I don't think we can avoid the peasants war. But I need 12,000 men. Alright, let me run the numbers here. Alright, so we're at 65%. So we're at 35 months. I need 279 admin power. I generate seven a month. Assuming I don't spend any admin power at all. Okay, excellent. So development cost or tolerance of true faith? Oh, development cost. It's because it doesn't tell you that it, that's going to happen unless you hover over it. But it doesn't show it on there. No province of Jewish faith will start us off the effects of non-accepted culture and same culture group as long as the aspect is active. Well, that could have that would have been lovely. Why don't you tell me about that one? What other hidden stuff is there? Everyone battled... Reduces the just by minus 0. I didn't even know this stuff was here. Accelerate festival gives us plus one stability. What about you? Reduce inflation by one. Reduce speed plus five. While at war, country gets plus 20%. Manpower recovery speed 25%. Faith power. Siege in our own fall and fort starts with plus two siege. It did not tell me about any of this. What does this one give me? Every non-theocratic Christian or Muslim nation will gain a plus 35% opinion of ourselves. 
Oh, that? Do I need to switch over some of these paid stuff? All right, let's go over here. Mystery strength, 50% cheaper, lovely. And let's just start converting. Okay, I need 163. In how many months? Because I need to know if I need the full squirt. 22 months, 132, I'm gonna miss it. Unless I do this. All right, 50% cheaper. So we'll absolutely take him. Still on track, I believe. It just costs so much. Okay, 19. Let me just double check my maths. We'll do it with like a month left. Provided nothing happens to lose our uh, admin power. We'll, we'll get it done with a month left. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there a 98%? <laughs> this is why you need a calculator whilst you play E4, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's stop playing our army. Because we need this peasant's ward to go away. God damn, we had such smooth sailing at the start. And now we've just got like a couple of hundred in loans. We really need the mammoths get knocked down a peg. But there's every chance the Ottomans are dead. Wait, where are the Ottomans? No, they're, they're doing alright. Okay, good. We need like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven promises. We can definitely take some promises. Yeah, especially when some of these are kind of trash. He's Multic 5. We are going to be Multic 6. Multic 7 doesn't matter. Wow. Well, yeah, Multic 7 doesn't matter. That should be. Okay, Pens War is done. Let's focus on just converting people, developing our gold mines. Uh, let's do this one first, actually. Wow, well, it's already mostly done. Oh, it's the autonomy. Look, 60%. Our autonomy doesn't actually decline because of this stupid decentralized state thing. Okay, how do I sort that out? Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I can lose 100% local autonomy. If I just improve this, like, once more. Okay. The constant misplays. There we go. Alright, and that gives us loads of cash now. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Look, I'm very tired. It's <laughs> Want the autonomy change? Yeah, I want to centralize everything do that. We get controlled gold mining, which gives us gold inflation modifier. Oh, at the cost of a lot of bad stuff. I'm going to keep it as is. Well, how, how bad is our inflation now? It's not horrible. Screw it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Because it's something new and I rarely get to do something new in this game. We'll do it. It means everything costs 5% more to do. We don't make as much. And now everyone's disloyal. Bar mitzvah. Oh, screw it. Spend money, I guess. Dude, we had like hemorrhage. We're not even making any money anymore. 14 ducats a month and I'm still in debt. God damn. I think I genuinely prefer Yom Kippur. Because the 5% morale is nice and all. And a winning a battle reduces war exhaustion. That's great. But 20% manpower. I thought that was better. 20% manpower is probably better. Pay off two loans. Wonderful. Okay, who do we have claims on? Have claims up there, up north. What about? Okay, you have to be Jewish to be improved five times. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, okay, nice. Conquer Dal, and now we need Suakin. Well, it's owned by the Mamluks. Be rather tricky. A three, one, two. Ah, oh, come on, give me better than that. I've disinherited four heirs this campaign. <laughs> Even more events. I swear to God, this is the, the campaign I've had events that lose me money more than anything else. It's genuinely, like, baffling. The sheer quantity of, of, of money that we lose. Why is it not showing it? What? 33,000. Really? Oh, damn it, you have tech six. <laughs> if I had like a tech on you, I probably would have declared right there and then. Okay, did you take an idea? Yeah, admin ideas. We have yet to take an idea group, despite the fact that we have Renaissance. <gasps> Look, Stella. <laughs> this is why we disinherit everyone. Solomon Solomoned. <laughs> Get in here, boys. All right, the inflation is fine now. Depletion chance is gone, basically. And they both make us a load of money. Okay, we're good. Well, all that's left now is to get stronger. What can we do with the cow regiments again? Arm is 30, 30 cow regiments, 40% arm refreshes. Yeah, it's kind of rough, chief. <laughs> okay, who are we fighting? Hazram and Nogadin. Do I have claims on you? Or well, Sangli wouldn't even come in. All right, let's go in. Yeah, at least I can bully these guys. Uh, and everyone's north of me, right? Yeah, okay. Did you just not have troops? There was something there that I definitely should have paid attention to. Mombasa, okay, hired troops from Mombasa. Where are they? Down south. It's a bit rogue, for sure. I should probably build a galley fleet. Oh, I don't, but I'm just not going to go in. Fine, I'll build a galley fleet. <laughs> I had no intention of going into these lands. Why does Mombasa even get involved? When can I do the faith thing? You just do it now. Okay, let's do it. Angot, that's not... Okay, I need to remember these two are my gold force. Everything else I can probably let slide. Marahan is... That's fighting Yemen. Sure. See, this is the fun part of Ethiopia, where you're just so much stronger than everyone else, and you just crush them. There's that, there was that little interim where it wasn't so fun. <laughs> yeah, those troops really didn't do anything. So I'm no longer... Oh, I'm just at war with Mombasa now. Okay. 
believe I just murdered all of my ships. Ah, no, they're still alive. Okay, so you won't give me access. Oh, you will. Okay, cheers. I'll go kill more massa now. Ah, uh, sure, we'll invite them over here. <gasps> Gold mine! That's not good. That's something we've got to keep a hold of in future lathe. Ready, Hadramut? Ready. Kill your navy, you might, army. You might want to come out. Nope. Okay. I'm going to focus admin. Just because I want to get some ideas. Uh, and to do that, I need to actually have admin for ideas. But I'm also engaged in a lot of conquests right now. Oh, we're about to get an idea group. Uh, I mean, our troops are going to suck either way. So I think quantity might be the play. Just get a bigger army. We can afford it. So why not? Ethiopian troops weren't especially good, were they? Was that a thing? Were they actually, like, really quite good? Man, I don't know enough about East African history, man. I'm gonna sit down tonight and read about it. I, uh, okay, you gotta understand, I like EU4 and stuff, but I'm a ma I'm still a massive history nerd. <laughs> that's like my main, that's, you know, my main personality trait. So after these videos, I, this is... <laughs> I can't remember saying this. What I genuinely do is if I play a game like this and I get really interested, I'll be like, okay, cool. And then I'll go and read about the nation for like a few hours. <laughs> Sometimes it's... <laughs> It's very inconvenient. Because <laughs> I have a lot of things to do. Alright, that pays off one of our loans. Can't quite call any of the provinces. It's fine. It'll be okay. Get ourselves into stability. So we should always be at permanently like level 3 stability now. What did I do? I created an Ethiopian navy. A small fleet of ships will sail through the Great Nile to reach the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, okay. do it. Where are the ships? <laughs> Can I see them? Or are they just magical ships that I can't see? Is it my imagination? Oh my god. He did it. Karabas was one of them as he took a few galleys from a mighty fleet and traveled with them over the Nile. So he just discovered the Eastern Mediterranean. Oh, that's nice. It's like Genoa took some land here. Debt free. Debt free. Debt free. Debt free! <laughs> which means we get a 50% cheaper advisor. Which one? Where is he? Where's, where's the 50% cheap guy? Okay, he discovered the Western Mediterranean. The Pope and Italy. Nice. The Christians of Europe. Excellent. Well, the Pope's not done too well, has he? He's allied England. Why is there Toulouse? What do you mean there's Toulouse? What happened to France? What happened to France? What the hell happened to France? <laughs> I'm looking conquest. Oh, yeah, we've got to go in. Why is our force limit so small? Blow wars. I reckon we just do it, you know? Screw it. I did everything else without thinking. Why should I start thinking now? I think if I take, if I take him first, which I'm going to do, then I get claims on the entirety of Egypt. Why? But I don't want the entirety of Egypt. I have... This has probably been the most consistently, like, uh, weird decisions I've ever made. I don't have the admin for any of this. And the Mammoths are actively fighting a semi-competent nation. I should be going in. But instead, I'm here doing this. And I don't know why. <laughs> I literally said as I did it, why am I thinking? Or why am I... Well, I shouldn't be thinking. Well, I should... Maybe I should try thinking. Maybe that would help me. I didn't even get my 50% cheaper advisor. Did I? No, I didn't get him. I feel cheated. Betrayed. I'm confuddled. Bemused. Confused and befuddled. Confuddled, bemused, befuddled and... <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> befuddled, confused, confuddled and bemused. <laughs> I like that. I, I think I've gone insane at this point, lads. Right, so we've done that. What do I do now? I need to have a greater religious unity in 75. I haven't done that. There was something around here about conquer. I have a curse out of Ibrahim. It has to be Jewish. Oh boy. So that was just irrelevant. I was never going to be able to convert in the time. Cool. That's great. That's good. <laughs> good to see. Good job, Lee. And now Najd will come in as well. And they'll, you know they're going to come across that straight. Right, let's get that navy out. Let's get an admiral for me. All right, can he command my, my armies by any chance? Get that admiral on land. We've got a revert. Take our hoods. Okay, took Suakin. For a reverse Admiral Yi situation. Okay. Let's just do it. We're outnumbered. When are we not? Uh, I want to grab 3,000 of you. So I can bust down these forts. Uh, let's also get the free company. Where are the free company? Why are they so expensive? Well, it was nice being debt free. We all knew it wasn't going to last. I want the free company to deal with rebels, to be honest. That's what they're there for. Oh, hey, guys. Where are you going? Ras Gareb. Yeah, go on. Catch him. Now we figure out if our troops are any good. Uh, in comparison to theirs, they are actually better. Well, who knew? Okay, lots of revolts. Yeah, you're going to need a leader to deal with that, aren't you? Well, good job. We got this guy. That might be even stacked one. Nice. Okay, cool. We're, well, we're helping you out, Karkunulu. I hope you do your job. Which one has siege? You have one siege and you have zero siege. Well, I'll figure out which one I want. All right, the Mammoths, I'm assuming, are going to build up. I think they just took pick seven. They did. There goes our technological advantage. Cannons. Well, at least they can't come down here and ruin our day. I can ruin some ship days, though. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That doesn't make sense. Ship days. Some days. What are ship days? Oh, no. Okay, they're going to get around me. I really, I don't know why they didn't consider the possibility that that would happen. Can you, like, do something, Karkanino? Nice, you're winning. Dude, why are there 10,000? Please win that. <sighs> this is outright. It's the opposite of winning. Okay, they're probably going to go to Suakin next. That, that's a lot of troops. That's, that's, this is a tariff. You need to win the siege, buddy. <laughs> I need this from you. Please. Thank you. 
That's all right. We hate Arsenal. We hate Arsenal. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, we can stack one of these guys. Let's consolidate. We have manpower. We're pretty, we're, it's, it's, we're pretty comfy right now. All right, go on. You got this. Coastal Desert. Nine versus ten thousand. Yes. Excellent. Good job, buddy. All right. Now we push up. It's just how far. Yeah, you can absolutely have access. And we'll lose the stability. We can pretty sure we can get them back pretty easily. This faith stuff. So just glad I don't have the shock collar attached to me anymore. If you don't know about that video, you need to go watch it. Okay, where are you going? Let's go to Scandaria. Do you know what before in Scandaria? We've got a lot of dead troops in Scandaria. Okay, in which case, let's go push on to... I think I hit a roadblock there. Uh, let's push on to Al Karak and let's breach the walls. This might be the first time Karo Canoe ever expands I've, that I've ever seen. Okay, we've taken a lot of woods. Bitch. <laughs> he took Jaffa. Yeah, the moments don't have any troops basically left. I just really want to look at Europe. I don't know what's going on over there. Right, just spread out our troops a little bit. Murder some Mamluks. Eject the Egyptians. Siege the sands of the book next. Alliterate everything. Doesn't count, does it? <laughs> I'm going to keep blowing stuff up. I just, I'm upset that he's taken Jaffa off me. Because it wasn't technically mine, but you know what I mean. Because I need to control Jaffa, Jerusalem, and... I think uh, Paradox is kind of at the point with its games that it can't change things without making the nations that it touches overpowered. Because I think Ethiopia is a little bit ridiculous. I think it's been 40 years, and they've not been, like, the smoothest of sailing. But it's been, like, annoying, not a, 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 a challenge, you know what I mean? And that's just the nature of... Uh, of how long standing this game is. <laughs> They've actually taken Rahba. Right, Siege of Tabuk. Let's go to Medina. There are some rebels around here that if they. I'd be very excited if they come to, to Jaffa and get out of this war. Because as it stands, I can't. Well, like, I guess I can now. Right, what do I even want from this war? Uh, I guess that. Go all the way around. I'm right, taking Jerusalem. I could take his heartlands. I kind of want pretty borders. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That seems like more of a priority to me. Uh, in fact, I don't even know that I want this land. <laughs> We don't really need money. Uh, I just kind of want to cripple them. Uh, I probably need a siege general. Did our general die? One of them did. Ah, two siege. There we go. The game is playing ball. Wait, no. This is our siege guy. Oops. Well, oh well. He sieged down Medina right now for some reason. Why did I send him to Medina? Who knows? <laughs> My methods are not for your mortal understanding. I don't make mistakes. Let's go straight in. Go on, free company. You got this. Siege of Medina. Okay, they would peace out for this. Might as well get the sign, huh? We don't... Oh, I can't actually. I want God. Because I don't want to be seated down mountain forts. Uh, I mean, there are like, there's a proper way of doing this. You know, snake, get the forts. And like, so if I wouldn't take this stuff, I would take that, for example. That's that's the better thing. I, screw it. Let's do the meta way. I'm, I don't care about fun anymore. I don't care that you're watching. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. I think it's because it's quite late at night. I'm very tired. And quite frankly, I would do the fun thing, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me. I really have no idea. I haven't eaten. Ah, that'll be why. I haven't actually eaten since breakfast. <laughs> I meant to be eating 3,000 calories a day. <laughs> I think I've had 600. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's fine. We'll take this land. Okay, we split the mammoths in two. And we conquer Swookin. Restoration of Christianity in... What? Why? <laughs> oh, great. Although the city submitted to the Mamluks in 1317, many still believe that the city remained a center of Christianity. This changed when more and more Muslim immigrants settled in Suakin. Over time, the last remaining Christians are brothers and sisters in faith. Not true. Vanished into the shadows, but in these times are now over. Suakin has finally passed of a true Christian empire again, and many hidden cults have returned to the light of day. They're not. I think they just heard Ethiopia. They haven't heard the news. That, um, yeah, we, we're not exactly uh, all about that, that Christian life. Church power, loyalty. Nah, let's go temple rights. Unloading separatists. We're going to use a free company for that. We're losing seven ducats a month. I don't care. <laughs> you want to move into my territory because you're all Serbia and Hungary. Okay. I don't know who you are, but I'm sure. Got myself another stability. Uh, we should probably move out of the way of these territories. It's costing us a lot of money. There you go. We're making money now. We'll pay all our loans. We only have one loan left. I might press on and just do press to John. Which means I need to conquer all this. Which, again, really shouldn't take us for about 50 years. Should I go after a Duran in the meantime? Sure. Let's just go into debt. But, I'm sorry, but the, the Jewish festivals are costing way more than any war ever did. I'm gonna get rid of these forts. I don't, I don't need them. Well, let's get rid of the forts down here. One fort. We can afford the rest, I suppose. People seem to get really upset when they delete forts. Stop resisting! I'm here to help you. More celebrations. I swear, half of the Jewish events are just celebrating things. Like, the powers know that <laughs> the Jews did more things and have more tenants than just celebrating festivals. Yeah, sure, you can make says, why not? What are you doing? You all with no one? Just allied to the Osmonds? Okay. I want to know what Toulouse is doing. 
I want to know what Toulouse is doing so badly. Because it looks like Provence lost land to France. Somehow France lost land to Toulouse. <gasps> 644 is about to come to air? I didn't even know that our king had died. <laughs> come to air. That's not a thing. Like, see, take the throne? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one, two, three more. <laughs> Just to chuck on this guy. So it's symmetrical. We're running a 16-3. We have a 644 in charge. Okay. Let's not make the guy a general. We don't need him to be. He's righteous. Damn straight he's righteous with the 644 stats. Okay, Jerusalem is now part of our patrimony, which means that we need to convert it. Palestine is now a core cool part of our territory. Oh, we can take the first uh, idea that we've ever taken. Nice. I never showed off Ethiopian ideas. We've got monthly autonomy change, which is super useful because at the start, that's more celebrations because at the start, we don't have the, uh, we've got decentralized uh, capital, which means we don't lose any autonomy. If we didn't have that, we'd be screwed. That is actually the last of our rebels. Wadi Haifa. Okay, let's go. The Wadi Haifa. Where's Wadi Haifa? It's over here. Wadi Haifa. Some people like it when I pronounce things in a somewhat Arab way. Um, I find that that ha, that ha is, is the hardest thing to pronounce for non-Arab speakers. You get people, for example, in Ahmed, right? So, for example, I've got several cousins with Ahmed, right? And that ha is hard because it's not ha and it's not H. So people either pronounce it Ahmed or Ahmed. But it's an Ahmed, like Wadi Haifa. Halfa. I don't know, I, I enjoy it when people try and pronounce Arab things. Um, I, I find the phonetics of, of, of really interesting. Um, and hearing different accents is always fun to me. Um, I, For example, I apparently, uh, I speak Korean uh, with a Chinese accent. Not that I can speak Korean, I know a couple of words here and there. Uh, I used to be a lot better. Um, but apparently, I've apparently got a Chinese accent. Because <laughs> I, I took Mandarin for like a year, two years. And so apparently that's influenced me, so I pronounce everything in a <laughs> in a Chinese accent, which sounds extremely weird. Because I already have I, I add into that a British accent and an Arab accent, and you've got a very strange mix of of, of sounds. Yeah, I feel like since Origins, um, Ethiopia has sort of been overlooked uh, by a lot of the player base. Uh, they don't really look to play in this region, but I can confirm that it's still. Perhaps the most uh, ridiculous nation um, to play as. The mission tree is also ridiculously overpowered. Uh, I would say it's even more overpowered than the Mamluks. And you saw how, if you watched the video, uh, what, like a couple of days ago, it would have come out. Um, how overpowered they are. How ridiculous they are. And so how easily I handled them. Just because of the gold mines with no sort of negatives. It's a confusing thing to be able to have that privilege um, from the merchants just giving... Basically taking away all the negatives from gold. Ah, oh, there's the Inquisitor bit. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to convert Jerusalem. I want to accept the culture. I need to accept Syrian. I cannot, because I only have 67. I should check these things before I did them. All right, well, there's an Inquisitor right back. Excellent. Let's stop focusing. 352 will take. All right, so founding the third temple it needs to be Jewish. And aside from that, we're all good. Uh, in the meantime, let's go kill Ajarai. Uh, it's Mombasa, Malindi, Mahra, and Aiden. Right, well, we can go and take these guys out pretty easy. Uh, use our navy to blockade the strait and just conquer down the coast. Aiden won't even join. Right. Down the coast we go. Oh, he dodged me. Oh, he's not dodging this. Yeah, cannons do very minimal damage at this point in the game. And are you a siege specialist? Okay, you go siege them and then you go combat. Fight, not... Yes, you go combat. Go combat, boy. <laughs> Is that a fort? No, okay, good. <laughs> To say why would you build a fort there you just walk well, i suppose it's a pretty good place for a fort actually that's actually yeah lama is not a bad one because you're controlling the, controlling these areas and there's only one way in and out that's actually a really good place for a fort not bad apologies did i win right, that's the siege of melindy i don't want to do this all at once uh do i have what other claims do i get do i need to do something special yeah kasser ibrahim has to be jewish okay let's do that then and that unlocks liberating alexandria and that sort of stuff Cool. Centralizing state, can't do, can't do. Contact with Portugal, can't do. Uniting the Horn of Africa, which I'm about to do. Lord of the Horn of Africa. Oh my god, multi autonomy change. <laughs> I'm desperate for it. There's the Siege of Mombasa. Oh, they're actually going to fight that. It's a good fight they took. I think I might still win. Yes. Okay. I think my troops just got stacked by. Wonderful. Do I just. And what's anyone going to do? I suppose I, I kind of want to take Pate first. Okay. You know what? Let's not go stupid. Though it would be kind of funny. Uh, ruin your life. Ruin your life. And then we'll take all this stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, it's just a couple off right now. Now that I've taken it. How much war scores is worth? I'm literally 1% off. More celebrations because 
that's anything they do in this st stupid game. Visibility, yeah, wonderful. I'm actually so upset that I can't just conk that. Uh, either way, unite the horn. Put a hold in Arabia. And we're just going to centralize the state. And right at the end, we get a blessed empire, which gives manpower and true faith performances plus 30%, which is kind of ridiculous, especially given that in the last patch of uh, Evil 1.34, they sort of nerfed uh, a lot of the manpower bonuses, but a lot of it overlooked that. So Ethiopia is now still ridiculously overpowered. Right, I need to have Syrian as an accepted culture. And then I can go ahead after having Kaiser Ibrahim, the stability apparently, I can then start to convert Jerusalem. And also replenish you from calendar. Alright. Take over Kaiser is take over Kasser Ibrahim. Wow, that would have been super useful against the Mamluks. Uh, ten percent morale. We get claims on the entirety of Egypt. <laughs> Now they want me to liberate Alexandria. Yeah, I'll happily do that. Secure religious unity. Not even close. When's our true start with the Mamluks? Oh, so soon. We're going to have to fight them again. What's our horse limit now? I mean, yeah, let's just attack a bunch more of these cow infantry on top of everything else. What's the combat width? Probably 22, 24, something like that. Yeah, 24. It's just worth having them around. We're just so far behind in all techs, despite the fact we started the game with 6x5 and we've got a 6x4 now, just because I had to spend it on stupid stuff. Nobles and Kaffir, that's a gold mine, so we've got to make sure we don't lose that. Ah, I thought that he was already there. He's not, and so we have to fight them in the Highlands. That's okay. Number of allies at least two. Not doing that. Religion in Zila is Jewish. We can do that. So the keen-eyed amongst you, or more experienced players, will have figured out that Ethiopia is an endgame tag. So what's an endgame tag? An endgame tag is something like the Pope, or the HRE, or Ethiopia, which means that they're not allowed to form another nation. So technically it's impossible to make Ethiopia form Israel. But what I've done is, as you can see, it's no longer an Iron Man mode. I have melted the save, so I've turned it into a non-Iron Man save. Uh, just so I can click this button and uh, switch over to Israel. Because I wanted to show you guys what it is. That's literally it. Um, which apparently gives us religious unity. Okay. So that gives us Israeli ideas, which gives us uh, religious unity, yearly legitimacy. We have church power, national rest, not great. Discipline, decent. Uh, production efficiency plus 20% is huge. Uh, trade efficiency and steering decent, development costs always good, and morale is plus 10%, which is lovely, and diplomatic reputation to finish, which is not uh, that strong. So a decent enough nation to form. We keep uh, the Ethiopian ideas, uh, and, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. But presumably I put form Israel in the title, so I had to do it. Uh, <laughs> But if you guys want to see me continue the save, either as Israel or as Iron Man Ethiopia, I would not be opposed to doing the Presto John achievement, which is basically I need to just conquer the Ottomans and conquer over here. Uh, we've set ourselves up really nicely for it, so if there is uh, an uptick of support for this video, then I will go ahead and do that. Otherwise, boys, please let me know in the comments down below how you felt about this video. Did it make you happy, sad, pensive, uh, forlorn? Any other <laughs> words? A uh, bit of a weird one. I don't know what kind of mood I was in when I was recording this, but sure. Uh, in any case, do make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.